It has never been easy to live in the limelight, especially for K-pop idols, as they are rigorously scrutinized by the public. Here are four K-pop idols who got bashed for their so-called extra and ridiculous behaviors. Number one, Tsuki and her extreme facial expression. In recent days, netizens are heatedly discussing a new female idol with a strange stage presence and bizarre facial expression, Tsuki. Because this female idol was so viral, netizens were really surprised when they discovered that she came from a nameless girl group, Billy, under the control of a small company called Mystic Group. Having debuted only four months, Tsuki is now drawing mixed opinions surrounding her facial expression when performing the song Ginga Minga Yo. As she flexibly switches between different emotions to suit each verse of the song, she can turn into a wide variety of characters within a few seconds. Netizens regard Tsuki's performing style as cartoonish, as she resembles adorable anime characters with her round eyes and rich emotions. While many find her expressions enjoyable, others say she's overdoing it and suggest Tsuki tone it down as she gives off a cringy vibe. They claim that there's a very thin line between diverse and exaggerated expressions, and somehow, Tsuki seemed to cross that border. Some netizens even said that Tsuki's expression is abnormal, and she was trying too hard to be cute and get attention. Others complained that they got their facial muscles tired just by looking at Tsuki switching at every beat, and doubted if this girl even know what a resting face is. Nevertheless, some claim that Tsuki is breathing a new breeze into the stage presence of K-pop idols. It is said that her facial expression fully delivered the cheerful and energetic vibe of the song, and some people might have been too hard on this young and talented girl. Fans also noticed some striking similarities between Tsuki and her sunbae Juhi, who we're going to mention soon. They both have strange yet eye-catching visuals, and attain fame via their unique facial expressions. Number 2. Juhi and her carefree attitude. Rising to stardom after her group song Boom Boom went viral, Juhi received a lot of attention for her unique personality. Netizens often claim that Momoland owes the majority of their fame to Juhi, as she gained the spotlight on every stage with her Devil May Care performance style. However, some argue that she might go overboard to get famous, especially with her carefree and even inappropriate attitude in some certain situations. For example, when Julie first appeared on Real Men 300, a TV show about life in the military, she received lots of criticism for joking and laughing while arriving late. Knowing that she'd kept everybody waiting, Julie made a joke in an attempt to mollify. However, the captain of the team showed his anger toward her. At that time, she was criticized a lot for having an improper and unprofessional attitude in such a serious setting. Netizen thought that Julie deliberately arrived late just to get attention from the crew and the audience. But undoubtedly, it seemed to be counterproductive. In other training sessions, Juhi was also said to have triggered the soldiers for her inappropriate laughter, as everyone else in the show is practicing in an extremely endurable situation. Another time, on her viral Tropicana CF, while some complimented Juhi on her dynamic and energetic dance, as well as her willingness to make ugly faces, others thought she dropped all the must-have feminine features of a K-pop female artist with her somewhat ridiculous dance. Her extreme facial expression is said to piss many people off, as they believed she was trying to overdo herself to outshine the other members of the group, leading to tons of heated debates on online platforms. However, there are many opinions defending Juhi, saying that people are just exaggerating things because, firstly, what Juhi showed in Real Men 300 is most likely pre-scripted, and Juhi was just acting. Everyone knows that reality shows like this are usually staged. Second, if Juhi wasn't being extra in Tropicana CF, would the ad go viral? And a famous brand like Tropicana wouldn't invite Juhi to do the ad for no reason. Number 3. Hani being allegedly extra After going viral for her sexy fan cam up and down, Hani was regarded as the most popular member of the group. However, the popularity often goes hand in hand with many controversies. Perhaps it is also because of her outstanding reputation that, so far, all scandals about EXID have only screamed Hani. When Hani started to get more attention, her tomboyish personality made her stand out among hundreds of other female idols, who always try to keep a perfect image on reality shows. The fact that Hani doesn't hesitate to spoil her own image makes fans feel closer to her. However, many netizens said that they gradually realized that what Hani was showing was no longer tomboyish, but graceless. They found it really disturbing seeing Hani sitting there with her legs widespread on TV shows, 
burping in front of her soon-be named Yoo Jae-suk, or carrying hair rollers with her all the time. All of this makes people believe that Hani is trying too hard to emphasize her tomboy image. At the peak of this was when Hani continuously cried on broadcast and TV shows. With the strong tomboy image she built for herself, the fact that Hani constantly cries for very normal reasons makes netizens believe that she is becoming ridiculous. Specifically, at the 25th Seoul Music Awards, Hani turned her back to the camera and burst into tears after the MC Jun Hyun Moo mentioned her boyfriend's name which made everybody on the stage feel awkward as the award was being broadcast. Netizens then voiced their disagreement with Hani's action, claiming that she was being unprofessional at such an important event. They also added that, in KBiz, it is quite common for famous couples to be teased. Needless to say, right after mentioning Jun Su's name in front of Hani, Jun Hyun Moo also teased Hani Lee when mentioning G.O.D. Hani Lee's boyfriend, Yoon Kye Sang, is a G.O.D. member, but she just laughed. Many people found Jun Hyun Moo's joke not that rude, and thought that Hani should have been chill like Honey Lee. Another time, Hani was seen suddenly bursting into tears when eating potato bread on Beak Jong Won's top three chef, and explained that she shed tears because the bread reminded her of her difficult past. However, Hani's explanation soon became a joke, as netizens found out she came from a well-to-do family who was eligible for her to study abroad in China. Some even said that she was crying crocodile tears to get sympathy from the audience. They suggest that Hani should restrict her emotions when appearing in public, as they are getting tired of Hani exaggerating her difficulties. Number 4. Maka trying to steal EXO spotlight. Though years have passed by, the Inki Gaio show on December 20th, 2015 still remains in the memory of many K-pop fans as a joke. Although the show ended with Sai winning the cup, the member of Road Boys, Maka, was ironically the one stealing the show, but for all the bad reasons. Specifically, when announcing the winners of the show, the first and second line is often spared for the nominees as a tradition, and this place should be for Sai and Axo. But somehow, Maka was seen all over the place, though he and his group were not on the nomination list. Because he was too eager to be on screen, Maka casually obscured Chan Yol and Sehun, and made a V sign in front of the camera. The members of AXA were quite awkward, as Maka made his way to the top lines and stole the place of some group members. This action of Maka was later reported by some online newspapers, causing a great controversy, most of which were comments criticizing his ungainly attitude and threatening to boycott road boys as they believed Maka was being disrespectful to his sunbae. Many people also revealed that this is not the first time Maka has behaved impolitely as he was also seen doing the same thing at several other music shows. Later, Maka had to publish an official apology to mollify the public. So, do you agree with netizens that these idols are going overboard to get attention? Which idols on this list do you think deserve criticism, and which ones don't? Comment down below to share your thoughts with us. Also, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to Be Boss TV for more interesting K-pop content. Thank you for watching.